Shalom. Glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders at Great Millstone who taught us the truth. Today, I want to speak on uh, Romans, the 11th chapter, and Romans, the 10th chapter. And speak on this uh, mystery, man. You know, talk about the Hellenization of um, our people. Okay? Because they are the so-called Greeks, man, mentioned in the scriptures, okay? So let's go to that, and then we're going to break it down, man, by the spirit and power of Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, man, all right? This is Romans 10 and 1. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to Yahweh for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have the seal of zeal of Yahweh, but not according to knowledge okay so meaning they got a zeal of the power of the power of the heaven but they don't know man they don't know who they are all right for they being ignorant of the heavenly father's righteousness are going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of the heavenly father which is the law statutes and commandments man Okay, so they need to understand, you know, that they they are Israelites. You're Israelites, man. Okay? You're an Israelite. And those Hellenistic Jews, uh, they were just assimilated into the culture of, of Greece. You know? And that music you hear playing, that's, that's Pontic Greek music, man, from Pontus. It, it spread everywhere, man. There was Jews in Pontus, man. Israelites. All right? Some of my family come from there, man. So you already know, you know what I'm saying? Here we, here we are. Here I am, you know? Romans 10. And uh, let me see real quick. Romans 10. I'm going to skip down. 10 and 11. For the scripture saith, whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. And who's that talking about? Israelites, again. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same is Lord over all, is rich on, onto all that call upon him. And who's the all that's calling upon him? Israelites. For whosoever of the Israelites shall call upon the name of the Lord, shall be saved. Okay, and let's get a precept, man. In Acts, the 22nd uh, chapter, the 22nd, first verse. This is Peter talking. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, hear these words, man. Come on, man. Yahweh Shai of Nazareth, a man approved of the Heavenly Father, among you, you, by miracles and wonders and signs, which Yahweh did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know. All right, so that is strictly talking to them, man. That's about Israel, Israelites, who used to be considered Gentiles. Let's get that in um, 1 Corinthians 12 and 1. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, which we know the Israelites are the brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles. Ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. So that's what it's talking about, man. You know, the Jews didn't want nothing to do with, you know, these other guys who, who were, you know, into these wicked ass customs, man. They was calling them of another nation, man. They was calling them other nations, man. So you got to understand, man, these scriptures, man, all right? You can't be you can't be void of understanding, okay? Let me see here. Um, just to prove that they was dispersed, okay? John 7 and 35, then said the Jews among themselves, whither will he go? 
that we shall not find him? Will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? So there you go right there. They were dispersed among the Gentiles. And obviously they were talking about Israelites. The Jews, man. Okay? It's all about Israel, man. Here it goes again. Acts, the third chapter and the 12th verse. And when Peter saw it, he answered unto the people, Ye men of Israel, why marvel ye at this? Or why look ye so earnestly on us, as though by our own power or holiness we made this man to walk? The God of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob, which is determining the seed line, the God of our fathers, that's possessive, man, to Israelites, hath glorified his son, Yahweh Shai, whom ye delivered up and denied him in the presence of Pilate when he was determined to let him go. Okay? And, um, let me go here to this so-called Jewish encyclopedia. Look at look at this, man. Hellenism, okay? To speak Greek or to make Greek. It says here, this is the definition, man, online. You can look it up yourself. Word used to express the assimilation, especially by the Jews, of Greek speech, manners, and culture. From the 4th century BC through the first centuries of the common era post exilic Judaism was largely recruited from those returned exiles who regarded it as their chief task to preserve their religion uncontaminated a task that required the strict separation of the congregation both from all foreign peoples and from the Jewish inhabitants of Palestine who did not strictly observe the law. So those people were exiled, man. That's why Paul had to come and tell you there's no difference between the Jew and the Greek, that you guys are family, man. You're Israelites. You're Israelites. They used to, to preserve the culture. Some of the Jews would stay away completely from those Greek-speaking Jews, which was the Hellens, man. The Hellenism, as it was written right here, man. It's right there. All right? So it said, again, it says, as their chief task to preserve their religion uncontaminated, a task that required the strict separation of the Jewish inhabitants, which we really know that means Israelite inhabitants, of Palestine who did not strictly observe the law. So if they wasn't following the law, they was calling them Gentiles, man, from another nation. This separation was especially difficult to maintain when the victorious campaign of Alexander the Great. This is why the Apocrypha was taken out of the scriptures. So you wouldn't know why or, or who the Gentiles are. That, that was all part of the mystery. This third kingdom of the Grecians, or excuse me, the Greeks, the Greek Empire, was removed completely from the scriptures, man. So that you wouldn't know the wickedness of Alexander the Great and also the validity of the scriptures and how he made it illegal or after his generals, rather, uh, took office, the four generals of Alexander, he made they made it illegal to call yourselves an, a Jew or an Israelite or to practice any of those customs. You would be put to death. Okay? Now, Alexander was a man of culture. He would allow them to do what they needed to do, you know? So it says... 
after the when the victorious campaign of Alexander the Great had linked to the east, so the east to the west. All right, new world order, man. The victory was not simply a political one. Its pol spiritual influence was much greater. The Greek language became a common language for nearer Asia, and with the language went Greek culture, Greek art, and Greek thought. Okay, there you go. So they was that's why Paul had to come, man. That's why Paul was an apostle to magnify his office to the Gentiles. Which when you look up the word, man, it means Helen. Greek speaking Jews. That's why it says word used to express the assimilation, especially by the Jews. So especially by the Jews. And we was the main ones up in there, man. Okay. So there you go right there, man. It says the Greek language became a common language for nearer Asia and with the language went Greek culture, Greek art, and Greek thought. The influence thus exerted did not entirely drive out the local languages of the local civilization. Con, because Paul was there, man. The Hellenic spirit was itself profoundly modified by contact with the Orient, which is people from the from the uh, you know from the East, man. And out of the mingling of the two, there arose a pseudo-Greek culture which was often different in the spirit from the true culture of Hellas. Okay? So there you got it, man. You got it, all right? These guys are Israelites. These were Israelites here, man. That's why it's talking about this here, man. Romans, the 11th chapter, in the 5th verse, it says, Even so, or excuse me, in the 4th verse, But what saith the answer of Yahweh unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Even so then, at this present time, also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. Talk about the Israelites. Okay, skipping down. What then? Hath Israel not obtained that which he seeketh for? But the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Okay? The election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. And I'm going to go down, man. And um, So Paul says it here in Romans 11 and 13. For I speak to you Gentiles, and as much I am un the apostle of the Gentiles. I magnify mine office. And he says, I am an Israelite in previous chapters, man. And the Lord didn't cast away his people. That's, that's what he's talking about. That's why he's coming here, man. Okay? That's why he came here, man. In the conclusion of this chapter here, reads with this, Romans 11 and 26. And so all Israel shall be saved. As it is written... There shall come out of Zion the Deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. What was the ungodliness? The Hellenization and wickedness portrayed by Alexander the, the Greek and his generals, man. Because as it was written in Maccabees, after the reign of Alexander, when his generals took office... His four generals, evils were multiplied on the earth. Legal to call yourselves an Israelite. So now you know the word, man, means a Greek-speaking Jew. Okay? Timothy's dad was a Greek. He wasn't a cracker like they was talking about, man. This other Hebrew Israelite camp, man, which the Lord is going to destroy. He had the nerve to tell me that, man, to my face on camera. 
Timothy's dad was a cracker, he said. Well, the Lord is not going to take the seed of an Edomite and mingle it amongst the holy seed of Israel, man, and graft it in. That's just confusion, man. Okay? The Lord's not doing that, man. Repentance is for Israel only, man. You just go to Acts, the fifth chapter, man. It said, ye men of Israel, you know, here it is again. Acts chapter 5 and 30. The God of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Him hath the heavenly Father exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Because they are the Gentiles. That's them. They were the Greeks in the scriptures. That's them, okay? There's no difference between the Jew and there's the word here, G1672, Helen. Helen. All right? It's not, the word's not even supposed to be Greek, man. It's a word to describe Greek you know, uh, uh, other nations. That's it. Here's the definition. A Greek, either by nationality, which we know that Greek isn't a nationality, according to Genesis, the 10th chapter. There's a specific amount of nations, man. Okay? So, there you have it, man. It, it's just unbelievable, man, how, you know, these guys, they're, they're bugging, man. They're bugging, man. Greek, either by nationality, whether a native of the mainland or of the Greek islands or colonies. In a wider sense, the name embraces all nations, not Jews, that made the language, customs, and learning of the Greeks their own. The primary reference is to a difference of religion and worship. All right, that, that's what they say, but really it's this. A Grecian, a Helen, a Grecian, or inhabitant of Hellas. By extension, a Greek-speaking person. And it says they're going off here, especially a non-Jew, okay? But here's what it really is. It's just a Greek-speaking person, all right? Because you can't tell me that salvation's only for people that live in the country of Greece right now and to Jews only. That doesn't make any kind of sense at all. That's why people like, you know, uh, uh, the apostles bring up, you know, these so-called Christians, man. They got these scriptures all wrong because it's not for them. This is not for them. This is for the remnant according to the election of grace by the Heavenly Father, man. Say, Lord willing, that was edifying. I want to say peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom and Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Barakatah, to all the brothers that push this word in sincerity and in truth. Call Allah Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Barakatah Yahweh, Barakatah Yahweh Shai, Barakatah Yahweh, Barakatah Yahweh Shai, Barakatah Yahweh, Barakatah Yahweh Shai. Shalom.